right, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, hump day, hashtag National Relaxation Day here at the Morning Mill in Real Antique Wood. And everywhere. And everywhere. <laughs> My name is Tom Simpson. I'm your host, Mike Chicalone, co host. How's that Apple Watch? Good? It's actually a Fitbit. Oh, cool. I have the same thing Fitbit Ionic. Very nice. Uh, we have a couple of exciting things for you today. We are going to do tips and tricks with Anthony which will be Arbor Tech device uh, and we will be simulating a live edge slab or a live edge on a slab with Arbor Tech. You will get to see that along with some DIY and an update as to what we have tomorrow. But for right now, let's go down to the mill with me and Anthony. Enjoy. All right, guys. Hey, we're down here at the mill uh, with me, Tom Simpson, Anthony Saracino. Anthony, what's up? We are going to test out the Arbor Tech planing tool uh, this morning, and we're going to show you how to uh, make this a little prettier. Right? Like right now, what would you say? Right now, this is like Anthony. Then Pre Anthony's going to make it into something more like me, a little prettier. It's comedian today. <laughs> All right, bro. What are we doing? All right, so I mean, long and short, we'll, uh, we're going to take our draw knife just to remove all the real heavy, heavy material on the outside. I mean, this is pretty dry rod and soft and definitely very punky. Okay. Um, so we'll remove all of that with our draw knife just to speed things up. And then we'll come back in with Arbitex turbo plane after the fact, just kind of sculpt it a little bit more, give it a little bit more of a finished look. Um, and then we can come in after the fact and sand it and make it, you know, make it real pretty. Nice. Um, so that it can look like the camera guy. Oh, so that, now we're talking, you know. So I mean, it's kind of you know, three, a lot of little processes that go into it, but the draw knife will be doing. All right. The so real wait, heavy what work. is what is this thing? Because this is we want to. Not everybody might not know what this is. That's a draw knife. Okay. So, so all that is is just a handled straight edge razor, pretty much. Okay. A razor that's pointed at you. Yeah, you pull pull to you. Yes. Okay. All right. So wow, that's an uh, interesting device. Um, full disclosure, I tried to buy one of these at Home Depot. You can't buy it. I'm sure you can get it on the internet, but Home Depot does not sell these. Amazon. These are fairly dangerous in the world of safety tools in 2018, right? Absolutely. Especially nowadays, not, not everybody knows what hand tools are anymore. You know, it's right. kind of like a, a dying That's art. very the, sharp, right? The use of hand tools. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, let's see how this baby works. You don't want to come across this the wrong way. So, I mean, pretty much, uh, you know, like Tom said, you pull pull towards you. Um, pretty simple. You can leave it on a little bit of an angle instead of you know pulling straight on. It's a little bit more difficult. You get more of a slicing action, almost like samurai sword, if you leave it on a little bit of an angle. Oh yes, you, <laughs> now I know. You know, I, I, I know you can relate to the ninja <laughs> stuff there. So, um, you know, so I mean that, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I mean that, that's all what you can adjust how aggressive it is by how you know how steep of an angle you hold it. Um, you know, luckily this little sapwood is very soft on this walnut here, so we don't have to go super crazy. I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure behind it. Um, okay. So we'll continue to do that the whole way down just to remove everything that's dry rotted. And then we'll come back in with the Arbitec after. Awesome. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for coming back. You're going to notice we're on a different table. Okay? Much more secure. Uh, you might not have this at home, but uh, in terms of what we're doing here, just made it a lot easier. Now you can see all that bark is gone. Anthony used the draw knife to get rid of all that bark on here. So we're now pretty much, we got a little bit of sapwood left, but we've gotten pretty far down almost to the heartwood of the black walnut. And now we're gonna use the... Turbo plane. The turbo plane. The turbo. Get to the chopper. <laughs> now what is this gonna do? So I mean, all it is, hence the name, turbo plane. It is just like a little planer. It's got a, uh, just a little carbide knife here. 
okay. start on an angle grinder. Just gonna remove the material so we can kind of really sculpt it. You don't doesn't require a lot of pressure, um, so it makes you know a whole bunch of chips pretty quickly, and it'll make light work of you know real light work in black walnut. So cool. All right, let's see you go. Yeah, that's about it. So safety glasses on first and foremost, most important. Always want to wear your safety goggles. Now you're gonna notice, right, with the edge here, much more, much softer, much more of a natural kind of curvature to it. Um, the draw knife, where we didn't touch up, almost looks like uh, it was like, you know, hacked at. You could tell, you know, it's got some definite marks on here where the Arbor Tech has taken that away. Uh, so yeah, that's how we do it. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Tips and Tricks with Anthony Saracino. At this time, we're going to take it back upstairs to me and Mike. Stay classy, guys. Yo, that was so crazy. Have you ever seen that before? Fucking A, dude. i never seen that before. <laughs> Simulating a live edge slab. So if you got a regular square-ass piece of wood at home, now you know that you could turn it into a live edge slab. How awesome was that? That was pretty cool. First time I saw the Arbor Tech crew or the tool in in, um, in action with Zach in March at the New Jersey Woodworking Show, um, where they introduced the ball gouge. But really? Yeah, I don't think we the ball gouge. The ball gouge. I think I've yeah. seen that in medieval times. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a medieval torture device, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but all the adapters are it's pretty affordable. You know, all those little pieces are pretty much a hundred bucks each. Really? Yeah, pretty much. I, I believe. Don't like quote me to, on that. It's like going to Denny's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cool stuff. Really versatile tool, the uh, Arbor Tech. That is awesome. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, what do we got coming up next? All right, so we got a little DIY segment with Lisa and Kara again. Uh, they're going to speak extra slow for you since you couldn't grasp the hanging shelf from the ceiling. So uh, we got a nice segment here. It's a quick, easy... <laughs> Easy, quick DIY piece right here. So something you want to kind of refreshen up a room or whatever, add some character and flavor. Just grab some rope, piece of wood, and have at it. So Kara, down to you. Hello, we are here for our third DIY segment in the Real Antique Wood Showroom. I'm here with Lisa Horvath, and she's going to be showing us a new uh, DIY project today. So what yes. are we making? So today we're going to make a hanging shelf that you could uh, either hang from the ceiling or hooks. And okay. Today I'm going to show you what hooks so we could go that route. All right, awesome. So where do we start? So I just found these, of course, these scraps of wood that we always have around here, uh, a black walnut. This one happens to be a red oak, nice and, uh, nice and cool. Rustic. Yes. So I took just normal everyday twine, put a little knot on it here. Did two of those. Same size, right? Same size. You could actually make them that they're they're different if you wanted to, okay. to make the shelf even more different or add. There was one that you could add a few different shelves. So, oh, cool. You know, if you Google in different things that you could see what, what that all means. Make it your own. Yes. So all it is is that you would have to put one side on, put the other side on, and literally it will hang the way that you want it to. And what do you recommend hanging it with? So my favorite, two of my favorite things in the whole wide world, of course, is the dog, hence Levi. <laughs> and the sun, hence the tan. <laughs> <laughs> so if you just put these here, okay. you do that side, and we could hold this up. It would make Looks a really good. cool thing. You could put anything on here that you want to, hanging Plants, in the bathroom. Books. Yep, anything you want. Beauty products. Yep. That's simple. 
So come well, on in and get your pieces. And, uh, we've got plenty of hooks for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Okay, you got We're going to go back upstairs with Tom and Mike. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, great segment from Kara and Lisa. Super easy, super quick. Get revved up because it's DIY time. So thanks, Kara. Again, we're looking forward to seeing you guys next week with another DIY piece. That was very cool. Hmm. I'm going to go home and make some of that tonight. Or maybe on Sunday. It's usually a good Sunday thing to do. I feel like I've said that before. Sunday's a good DIY day. Sunday's a great DIY day. Um, so, thank you for joining us for an adrenaline-filled hump day at Caffeine the filled. morning mill. Uh, tomorrow, we got barn stores with Gary, as usual, on Thursday. <laughs> so, you want to stick around for that, okay? Pack in a fat wad of dip, get your shotgun, sit on the porch, and shoot some raccoons. No, we did that last week. Or was that two weeks ago? It was never a bad day to shoot raccoons. Disclaimer, Christmas we morning. actually didn't shoot any. <laughs> but we would. <laughs> so stick with us tomorrow, and maybe you'll see. All right, guys, have a good day. We'll see you. Adios. Peace. Peace and love.